Hi, I'm a retired engineer. I recently bought a sprinkler to do my front yard and it really didn't meet my expectations so I thought I'd perform a series of tests on a variety of single hose end water sprinklers to measure their area in square feet, determine what their irrigation uniformity is in percent, and figure out what their water usage rate is in, in gallons per minute. Now once we've got that, we can then calculate how many gallons and how many minutes we're going to need if we use these sprinklers to irrigate up to that one inch average water coverage that uh, we're told is important to keep a nice healthy lawn. This will also define the pre uh, precipitation and the irrigation rate per hour in inches per hour for each of these sprinkler types. I'm doing this because it's, there's very little information out there or videos published on these kind of sprinklers and that causes most of us consumers to either overwater, underwater, or suffer wet and dry spots due to poor distribution of the water across the area. Also the manufacturers are notorious for advertising far better performance than what the product can actually achieve. For instance the one that I just bought is advertised at 4,200 square feet of coverage. I was only able to get 1,600 feet of coverage and I have pretty good water pressure. So our goal is to irrigate our lawn properly. And since we get the general consensus of irrigating one inch of water per week, uh, and they say we'd like to deliver that at about a half an inch per hour, that's kind of what we're shooting for with these different sprinklers. This will allow us to put enough water down to reach the root level of the turf and slow enough to not cause puddling or for the water to run off. So to run these tests, I most, I'm using my front lawn, which is a mostly level area of around 4,000 square feet. And I use city water. I measured the static water pressure at 60 PSI at the point where I intend to attach my garden hose. I'm going to use two lengths of 50 foot 5 H inch diameter rubber hose for all the tests 100 feet long. So that should be pretty typical of most people who are trying to run a sprinkler in their lawn. We kind of understand we're going to have to move it around. They don't cover probably the whole area every time but right now we don't really have an idea of how well they perform other than we just check and see if the ground got wet and I don't think that's quite adequate. So I've made up a series of marker spikes that I'm going to use to measure the lawn's wet area once the sprinklers are turned on. And I'm going to place a series of catch cups to measure the water received in various points in the wet area. Now this is going to vary by the type of sprinkler, but in general the cups will be placed at about the 20, 50, and 80 percent points within the wet area at a minimum, but some of the sprinklers might require to me to put a few more cups to do a good measurement of the amount of water collected and where the areas that are getting more, more water than others or less than others exist. I also have a good roller wheel, as you can see in the picture here, that I can use to measure the distances of the wet area as well as distances between the cups in the array. Now this is the only video I'm going to do on the setup, so I don't have to repeat it for every sprinkler that I test. So refer back to this particular video each time to understand how I'm going about it. 